The United States indicates President Joe Biden has agreed to give Ukraine anti-personnel landmines in a move seen as an attempt to slow down Russian troop advances. A U.S. defense official confirmed that Ukraine has pledged to use only mines that remain active for a limited period of time and would not use them in densely populated areas. Meanwhile, the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv is temporarily closed. As it says, it received information of a potential significant air attack on November the 20th. Overnight, both Ukraine and Russia reported major drone attacks. And earlier, it was confirmed that U.S. made longer-range Army tactical missile system missiles had struck targets inside Russia's Russia only days after reports emerged that the White House had granted permission for their use. For more on this development, Global Affairs Analyst Benga Nifade joins me from the UK. He joins me virtually. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon. So we're witnessing and seeing um, very key moments in this war that no one could have ever imagined 1,000 years ago. Has the trajectory of this war um, shifted in Ukraine's favor with a strike on, on, on Russia targets in Russia? Right. Um so far, so good. Ukraine has actually just been maintaining uh, where they are. They, 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 I think that the past, the past year, if at all, you know, they have actually been losing a lot more ground. Russia, um, I think uh, 2023, they lost about 3,000 kilometers squared. And then again, this year alone, they've lost about six times that. So um, I think the... With, with with Biden, you know, having just about two months into his presidency, I think he's looking into shifting or altering, uh, you know, the, the the cause of this war. Of course, um, I think the, the, the pep talk uh, the people are hearing is that Donald Trump is, you know, he's looking to, to end in this war, he said, without firing one bullet, uh, any more bullets at all. But of course... And people believe that this might be at a repercussion because Russia's got a lot more grain. They're going to have a lot more spin to their side. Um, and, of course, a lot of people have died on both sides. But I believe uh, what, what, what Biden is or President Biden is doing at the moment is trying to shift the altar of this cause. Otherwise, you know, you, Ukraine would have had a lot more to lose. And at the end of the day, when it comes to, you know, presidency with, with Donald Trump, um, people would actually ask, why? What is the essence? You know, if you read, if you think about it as well, you know, the United States have sent, uh, you know, we're talking about billions of dollars uh, to Ukraine in, in terms of aid and, of course, weapon support. So I believe he's just trying to make them get it quite a few grand. It's just like a tactical shift, really. I mean, one of the things we need to understand as well is that we uh, believe, uh, despite the, you know, the, 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 the eight, eight, eight accounts, uh, which is the army, the Army tactical missile system, which they are using right now, uh, they have been, you know, we, they have been authorized to use into Russia's lands. Uh, we don't believe that it will alter majorly uh, the, 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 the course of the war because they have actually been strictly instructed. I think it's more or less to deter the North Koreans who are supporting Russia. And um, again, they, you know, they've got guides, don't fire into, into crowded a areas. And of course, I think what they are mostly targeting is to just stop the war. They are targeting, uh, should I say, military authorized areas where this weapon from Russia is coming from. Um, so yes, while I don't think, uh, you know, President Putin is, is, is bluffing when he said he might just retaliate, mm. but at the same time, I don't but, think but he's going to let, Let's talk shit. on that, because he's, he's always, that has always been his, his, his statement he's always made. Um, he has said that, look, if America were to allow Ukraine to use long-range missiles, that it would, it would mean that he's, the war is now, uh, NATO and U.S. are now part of the war. We've seen President Putin amend um, Russia's nuclear doctrine which means that Russia can now use nuclear arms in the event of an attack by um, any nation backed by a nuclear power. What, what do you think would be his response? You have already said he's, he's bluffing, but could, would there be likely retaliation? I don't think there will be a retaliation. Um, I mean, at, at, at the minute, well, what has he got to lose? He's probably got a lot more to lose because, yes, one, they, know they haven't got trade within each other. Of course, they would like the trade to resume. Um, again, he favors Donald Trump on one hand, but I don't think there's a major to lose at the moment because, I mean, if you think about it, you know, I mean, Russia's the global power, uh, but they have actually, it's been costing them quite a lot over the last 1,000 days, we can say, or two years and a half. 
or almost three. Well, no, 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 that's number one. Or number two is the fact that, of course, Putin also wants this thing to end. Um, again, it's probably what they might just decide. You know, they, I mean, these things cost about a million and a half dollars uh, for each of these missiles. So yes, I mean, how, how much more will 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 Ukraine, uh, you know, fire into 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 Russia? So that's just, that's just another point there. But if you look at it again. Um, we, I don't think Russia's got the power, uh, the, the firepower to, you know, to fight the United States because, mm. you know, the UK... But uh, I, I, I wanted to quickly ask, because I'm pressed for time, um, my apologies for butting in. I wanted to ask because you, you were talking about Putin wanting peace, and we know that all of these moves we're seeing now is just before Donald Trump would take office on January the 20th. Is there a path to peace? Do you see a path to peace under um, Donald Trump when he becomes president? Oh, absolutely. Russia's Russia's got they've gained quite a lot more ground. Um, you know that that's that's just one one hand. So they do actually have an upper an upper hand when it comes to the negotiation towards peace. Um, I believe the war probably potentially could stop when Donald Trump comes to power. They will not have to give back most of this ground that they've gained, and I think that's actually one way to peace. Um, when you know with Donald Trump, you know, say ascending the presidency. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure to have you on Global Affairs Analyst, Benga Onifadi.